Welcome everyone. Uh, I want to do a really quick video today. I will follow this up with a longer firewall onboarding video, but wanted to give you a quick overview as to some changes that happened in Sophos Central Partner Dashboard related to the Sophos Firewall. So let's jump right into the Central Dashboard. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to notice over here on the left hand side is that you used to have four different tabs here. These have been reduced and consolidated into two different tabs for the Sophos firewalls. Your managed firewall tab has now been changed to managed groups. This is the same section that we had before with the management of the firewall templates. This operates and functions exactly the same as it did before. The brand new section, which replaces the firewall customers, replaces the firewall approvals, it also replaces the firewalls section with both the manage and the all firewalls tab is going to be the licensing and billing. This is a consolidated section with all of the information that you need inside of it. There is no more need to jump through the process of the old central firewall manager going through the firewall approvals. The firewall approvals only unlocked the assign to field. That was it. So this field right here, this assigned to, that was behind a wall, which once you had the firewall registered under my Sophos, it would appear in Sophos Central under the all firewalls. From there, you would have to do the firewall approval to get it moved to the managed firewall section. This had nothing to do with actual management of the firewall. It simply unlocked this assigned to field. This assigned to field now no longer requires uh, that process. So you no longer need to go through any firewall approvals. You don't have to go back into your MySophos account to approve that. You simply register the firewall to MySophos. It appears inside of the dashboard. And from here, you can start to take action on it. From here, you'll have the ability, just as you did before, to add a subscription. If you highlight over subscription, it will show you what's currently applied to that device. If it's a monthly subscription, again, you'll see the monthly subscription that it's active and the current expiration date, which will be sometime long off in the future. Again, those licenses never really expire. If this is a term license on there, then you will see either you know, a bundle or individual SKUs on there with an expiration date assigned to those particular licenses. You will also still have your ad button. If you have a firewall that has been purchased and doesn't have a subscription, you'll have your ad button, be able to go in and add that subscription right to that firewall. We also still have the ability at the top right hand side here to request a virtual firewall as a service. This is a base license as well as a subscription for the virtual firewall. Still has the same restriction. You will still need to select a MySophos account that this will register against. That MySophos account still has to have the network protection contact information filled out prior to being able to make this work. If that information is not filled out and you select an account that did not have it filled out, it will fail building out that virtual firewall. So again, make sure whatever account you're selecting is the account you're gonna be dropping those firewalls into and that that account has been set up. From here, you'll have the option to add a description to the firewall. This is a brand new field. It's up to 250 characters, freeform text field on there. So you can enter whatever you want. Uh, this allows you to go in and put descriptive information about the firewall, not necessarily the customer. We still have the ability right here for the assigned customer. You can select any of your Sophos Central customers, apply it to it. And again, that puts a name on the actual firewall. That way, when you're looking at it in the list, if all of them are owned by you as the MSP, you now have the ability to see who they're actually assigned to, who they're deployed out to. The description is going to be useful, as you can see over here on the left hand side to determine whether or not this particular firewall is maybe deployed in AWS or Azure, or it's a demo firewall, a home firewall, or a DR offsite firewall. Again, anything descriptive that you want to add inside of there can absolutely be added to this. Same as before, we would add our subscription. You would add your base firewall license on there. That's gonna be the cores and RAM you want to assign to that firewall. And then you're gonna hit save to create that serial number. From here, any of those monthly firewalls, we can come right into that serial number. We can come up and edit any of those virtual firewalls as a service. Again, any of those that are marked as monthly. Same options you're gonna have in here. You're gonna have your description. You're gonna have your type. If it's in a pending or current status on there, the ability to change your description, your assigned customer, as well as your cores and RAM on that particular device. 
you will have a delete option on here. You can only delete a virtual firewall as a service. You cannot delete hardware firewalls out of the system. For hardware firewalls or purchased base license of a virtual firewall, we have an option now to hide the firewall. This will give you the ability to hide it and remove it from your view. As you can see at the bottom left-hand side here, I'm currently displaying 19 of 32 firewalls. So I have quite a few firewalls that are no longer in service and are being hidden from view. Lastly, going in and taking a look at the hardware side of this, if we take a look at uh, the XGS 2300, same options. Again, we'll have the ability to edit the description of the firewall. We'll see that this is a purchased license type on there. This refers to the base license type as well as the current subscription that is assigned to the firewall. From here, I can go ahead and change the assigned customer. If this firewall was being taken back and moved to a different customer, I can go ahead and assign that right here. Again, if I'm no longer using this, I can hide that firewall. These changes are made instantly. Uh, you can come in here, make the changes on the fly and add in those descriptions, change those customers if needed inside of the environment. So again, in recap on here there's no longer a need to go in and do the firewall approvals that section is completely gone that process is completely gone as well the only real access you will need for your my sophos account will still be that initial registration of the firewall and under the devices the view device tab adding the additional information field in for that that will be eventually moved into the assigned to field but it is not there yet Hopefully this gives you a good overview of what's changed inside of Sophos Central. If you have any questions on any of this, feel free to reach out to msp.se at sophos.com. Be happy to answer any of your questions.